Hello guys and girls, we are here with another video In this one we will speak about... Uh, actually, I, I would say... Uh, the most important choice of your life The bigger picture of your life How to... How to create... Uh, a life that you are grateful for And... Um, you love it And... Uh, yeah, we're gonna speak about the difference between creating through the ego and through your soul, through your fifth, di through your fifth dimensional self. When you become, we're gonna dive deep here. Okay, I, I want you to pay super attention. This, this is uh, actually the most important thing you have to discover in your life. Okay. Uh, I want you to be super uh, conscious here, pay attention, uh, follow your heart, um, and yeah, let's let's dive deep into it. I'm gonna try to um, to say my mind. So when when you become aware of this transcendent dimension of consciousness inside you, the truth of who you are, your soul which is above the ego, which is the observer of the ego, it's higher, it's a transcendent dimension, it's higher or deeper, Depend depending on how you look at it, it's the same, but um, when you are in touch with the creative power within you, there is a difference in the way you create, okay? There comes, uh, you know, an inspiration, an idea that spontaneous, you know, it just come uh, like a download, like um, through your intuition, for example, or through your crown chakra, like a download, like a like a direct download, and um, it grows, it grows, it grows, and uh, it, it's like you you are getting. Um, you are receiving when you create through this uh, transcendent dimension of consciousness you don't plan it there is no plan uh, if I gonna describe it somehow it's like you have a compass the compass is telling you we go this way and uh, th this compass is um, the uh, the direct download and uh, through the crown chakra and the intuitive inner calling that uh, keeps pointing you where to go but you don't have a plan yeah there is a plan this compass but uh, it's completely different than the ego plan we should do this we should do that we should do that uh, and you know this is the path you don't know how the path is gonna unfold so you have to be really comfortable being in the unknown because uh, that's how your whole life is gonna be when you reach to those uh, um, when you unlock this dimension of consciousness inside you your, li your life is gonna be uh, having a combat a combat knowing you are in the best past path possible, there will be challenges, there will be up and downs until you fully embody yourself uh, into your fifth dimensional self, into your, it, when you fully embody your uh, uh, soul into your mind, when the transformation begins uh, and ends, when the transformation ends, not begins. So, you must be it's like a, a, every day it's a journey into the unknown but into the unknown that's where the magic happens so when you create through uh, this uh, transcendent dimension of consciousness inside you through your soul uh, on a deeper level comes there comes an image comes a thought and um, suddenly you know 
what it wants to be created through you and uh, it's you don't have a plan i repeat that it's completely different than they go they they go is very limited the whatever plan they go has the third ego matrix consciousness when you act through the, this ego whatever plan this ego has in the end of the days wants to feed itself and um, the plans that the ego creates are fl- are flowed and it brings it brings a lot of problem to problems to everyone around you because the ego is based on fear and limitation and it only seeks to feed itself through its action this 3d matrix ego consciousness that is based on fear and limitation um, the egoistic consciousness that you see everywhere around you and that if, uh, if the plans of the ego create more problems more problems for, for yourself and more problems for others and you can uh, spot that in your day-to-day life you are trying to manifest something you have this desire you have that desire and when you are in this action which you are through the ego you are suffering you are trying you are in fear you are in scarcity you are in survival mode you create problems you begin to judge everybody around you you are in drama in toxicity there there is a whole it's like you are moving and you are spreading pain because that's what that's um, what's happening when you have when you act through the ego. Because the ego lack, lacks the wisdom and the higher intelligence of your soul. When when the ego, when you open this transcendent dimension of consciousness inside you, which is the observer of the ego, then the ego is guided. Your soul. Your fifth dimensional self is using the mind, is using the ego to create in the present moment. But until that happens, that's what you're gonna face. That's what you're gonna face. Problems, struggling, trying, no pain, no gain, (sighs) destroying your body, hating your body. At the same time, there is another way which you grow and you love yourself which you perform and there is no stress inside you which is love based with your whole existence expands your body your energy system everything expands your mind your consciousness they go they go the three matrix ego consciousness always is seeking itself through its action but when you act through through your soul something wants to be created through you you are a vessel with the god consciousness experience this time dimension through you you're just a vessel and you are in the present moment in complete alignment in complete alignment it feels it feels good it feels good and your actions don't seek self-seeking you don't get attached to the outcome you, you, you are not looking to whatever it wants to be created through you. You are not looking to get happiness or, or, or self-enhancement or fame or, or wealth or um, anything through it. You, you are not looking. You are, complete, you are complete inside when you are there. You feel full. You, you experience the, the fullness of life, the wholeness when you create through this position and um, you enjoy this creation there in the present moment is where love reigns supreme 
real love, unconditional love. The real love, I repeat that. And uh, we cannot fully understand the plan. I get glimpses of it, of the greater picture, by the direct downloads I get through the, my crown chakra, through my sixth sense, and uh, through my intuitive calling. But uh, I can understand. I just completely trust it. Because by trusting and surrendering to it, my whole life is changing forever. And I'm getting from zero to paradise on earth, from hell to paradise on earth. And um, yeah, that's how it feels when you create through your soul and the byproduct you might get wealth uh, you might not even get anything but you're gonna be full as you travel you're gonna feel good in the present moment as you travel as you create when when you are on your purpose because that's where your purpose exists your purpose is a soul thing it's a vibration you need to tune into your purpose you were born into your purpose it's all about tuning in, and that's where your purpose exists, in your fifth dimensional self. And uh, uh, you, you, you might get wealth because your vibration is changing, uh, you are giving out there, you don't have any attachment, you don't, you don't care, you just create, you become a vessel that the universe creates through you. And that means you are raising in love, in unconditional love. You are creating with unconditional love. And this is this is combined with faith and with sexual energy. And it's a powerful creation in the quantum field. And when you give that out in the universe, the universe is going to give it back to you. So, wealth, love, all this is gonna eventually come back to you, but you don't care. You don't do it for that. You are not on your ego. And this has been, um, you know, I used to have a lot of, uh, a, a very big ego, a very big ego. And, uh, It, it has been transformed a lot since uh, those two years and a half of my spiritual awakening and uh, I can already see the change and how everything is changing out there in my life. From hell to paradise on earth. From zero to everything. From emptiness to wholeness. Of course there are challenges, of course you are always on the unknown. There are days like, what the fuck? You are like, what the fuck am I doing? How I do that? Uh, you are experiencing synchronicities. You you are uh, you are following the hard impulses and you open to the unthinkable, to the unimaginable, to the unknowable, and you bring in this new creation. And you are like, what am I doing? but you're not acting through your mind consciousness this is a transcendent dimension of consciousness inside you and you create the magic in your life you live and um, if you give out there it's gonna come back okay but it's coming back i'm telling you it's coming back i live it i live it. Um, through all this journey, two years and a half now, uh, after 11-11-2019, uh, uh, where my spiritual awakening happened, my, my awareness um, keeps increasing and increasing, you know, it's coming with waves and uh, poof, I'm going uh, uh, a little bit uh, in the darkness, I'm going a little bit unconscious and, uh, unconscious, and then the presence comes back up stronger with more fuel, 
deeper. And through this journey of a roller coaster between the fifth dimension and the third dimension, where the big transformation is happening, the ascension process, the awareness expanded a lot, a lot, through the healing process, the time travel mentally, future, past, present. The awareness expanded a lot. And I can see that out in my life. I can, uh, um, through my current level of um, awareness and consciousness, I can um, spot what is still of my old karma, of my old creation, and what's the new. The new already begins to manifest into the chaos, into the hell of my old self. (laughs) I still clear out the karma of my old self. But, um, yeah, it's going to come back. And, And this is, I'm telling you, this is the exodus. This is the highest manifestation you can have in this lifetime. It's going to create a life for you that you're going to live in the present moment and you're going to be full on everything, step by step. Step by step, the more you follow your sixth sense, your higher dimensional self, your presence, the more you trust, the less suffering is going to be in your life. I'm telling you from first hand experience, guys. It's magical, it's miraculous. Uh, as long as you are on your purpose, it doesn't matter. The universe takes care for you, everything comes magically. You're allowing. Allowing doesn't mean uh, you're not taking action. You are following your heart impulses. You are, you are taking massive action, but it's not in stress. It's um, it's not in anxiety. When when you follow when you follow your intuition, you'll see that your intuition will, will tell you, Psst, relax. Relax, get in the present moment, calm down and build. You're getting more to your alpha brainwave state where your creativity expands and you build, you perform. You don't have to work hard, you have to work smart. And this is higher intelligence. This is the place where you're gonna experience the fullness of life in the present moment by allowing, by getting in the flow where love reigns supreme, where unconditional love lives. And that's where everything expands. <laughs> Biggest truths ever. Deep realizations. Life changing. The wholeness of life. In few words. Actually, the biggest achievement of this life, to connect with your soul, to open this transcendent dimension of consciousness inside you. Biggest. I'm telling you guys, that's where your whole life is ascending, no level. That's where you are in the perfect balance. A different perfect balance. The real perfect balance not uh, the perfect balance um, perceived through the ego. The old ego can never understand. Mindfulness meditation is key to learning thyself, to opening this transcendent dimension of consciousness. Also, following your heart, learning how to follow your heart, doing inner work, practicing self-love, self-care, Inner child work, shadow work, it's uncomfortable, it's hard, it will change your life forever, it will set you free to live your greatest version, your greatest life. Everything is there, guys. And um, always remind yourself that um, The ego is going to try to pull you back when you meet other people that they don't understand you. 
that uh, all they know is limitation and fear. They, they're gonna try to talk you out and your ego is gonna, is gonna try to feed off them and send you unconscious. All those f- fear programs inside your mind are gonna try to feed because you are aware of them. You are no longer going unconscious, you understand thyself, you observe your mind, you observe your unconscious. They will try to feed from your environment and they will try to send you unconscious, to send you back unconscious. It's amazing, but it's true. It's like a virus in your brain, nothing more, that you need to um, become aware of, to put the light, to sign in the light of awareness in there, and everything is going to change. When you sign in the light of awareness between the thought and emotion, those, those programs lose their power, they begin to dissolve just by observing the unconscious mind. So be careful. And um, another thing that you have to be careful is, okay, you search out there, astrology, gurus, information, powerful information, uh, this, that, make sure you are not searching through um, uh, your ego through the 3D matrix ego consciousness because eventually it will lead you away from your truth, from your wholeness, from the the journey to find yourself, to find this inner union, from your heart, from your intuition, from the now moment. Always follow your heart in this search. Try to stop the mind from you know, uh, going crazy. Try to tell, it's okay. Tell to your ego inside you. It's okay. You don't understand. You can understand. It's possible to understand. Uh, but okay, you are here. Tell to tell your ego inside your mind. You are here to protect me from danger. Yes, but um, this is something that you cannot understand. And uh, um, it, it, it's it, it's. Um, You have to be really careful not to get lost out there. Learn to see from the inside out, not from the outside in. Outside in is reversed, you are lost. And we have been programmed to always perceive life from the outside in, reversed. So, strive to get in the present moment. A state where you fully embody yourself. Where you feel the wholeness, the truth, the fullness from inside. Where you feel alive from the inside. And that's where your creation has to come from. And all of this can only be experienced by allowing. By being completely detached. From the outcome, from the opinions of other people from our parents, from our friends, from our lovers, from everything. Let go of everything that is not authentic about you. All your belief systems, your thoughts, the story they told you, um, how, how, good, how, how the perfect nutrition is, how lifestyle is, how health is, you'll see through this higher intelligence that what perceived as perfect nutrition is far away from the perfect nutrition for you. You'll see that. There's powerful information out there. Yes, there's always feedback out there. You have one ear to listen to yourself. Learn thyself. Learn how to listen to yourself. And one ear to get the feedback from out there. This feedback matters. Matters, but without the wisdom and the higher intelligence inside you, you can't find uh, the best nutrition. You can find the perfect. Okay. This is the way. Allow yourself. It doesn't mean you are being passive, you are waiting. It means you feel this calling inside you. You feel the energetic impulse 
inside you and you understand the universal language of energy so when you are there your body is really when you are in this state of being and you're creating through this state of being your body is light you are floating you actually you actually experience gravity different because the and transformation has happened inside you you clear out the fear patterns from your mind and then from the body memory from its cell and now your cells can carry more light codes and your vibration has risen and now you are lighter and uh, uh, this is how you transcend your art and uh, you create a, a life uh, that is the best for you and the best for everybody the most important question you have to make to yourself today is am I trying or am I allowing this is the video for today guys really powerful information really powerful message if you like the message share the video subscribe the channel support the channel and until next time peace and glory